Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another Macintosh training video. Um, if my videos have helped you out, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe, that is very helpful to me. Um, today we are going to be looking at uh, ways to get rid of malware, adware on Macs. Now, um, this can be done pretty easily by downloading um, you know, a, a good uh, tool to remove malware. Um, but in the latter section of this video, we're going to actually look at how malware works and how to manually remove it yourself because you can actually remove it without um, a tool uh, that assists you if you know where to look. Um, but I will go ahead uh, and just mention a really good malware removal tool that you can get a free trial for is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Um, I actually have it installed on this machine. Uh, it's this guy right here. Um, I'll go ahead and plug their site uh, down in the description. I'm not promoting them or not being sponsored by them or anything like that. They're just a really, it's a really good tool. Um, and if you just need a one-time, you know, clean out some kind of malware on your computer, I'd suggest going there and downloading this and running it. Um, otherwise, there are some other versions out there, you know, Avast, um, various uh, 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 virus protection and, and malware protection, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, in this video, we're going to look at kind of how malware works and, and how you can remove it yourself. And it is going to be a little bit, uh, you know, more on the intermediate to advanced level. Uh, because it, it is a little bit complex and um, as far as how it works and how to remove it. So, so uh, the first thing you need to know is that malware typically uh, starts and runs automatically when, when you uh, log into your Mac. Um, so there's, there's a way that it gets called and it gets launched um, on its own. And that's why when you try to go in and, and delete it or, or remove sections of it, and maybe some of it just comes back on its own or its settings just reset by itself, um, that's because there was a process that got started when you logged into your Mac that is uh, rebuilding it every time you delete it. And you got to find the source. you got to get rid of whatever it is that's launching that process in the first place. The good thing is, is that there's only a handful of places uh, where um, uh, this can, can be stored at. Uh, so we're going to look at those right now because this will actually solve the issue for you. Um, so first of all, if you go into uh, the, the root of your drive, uh, if, if you don't see Macintosh HD on your hard drive, you can go into Finder Preferences and just make sure you enable the hard disks here and then it will show up. Um, another thing I guess I should say, be careful messing with anything in, in your root library um, because these settings affect all users on the computer and you don't want to go in here and just start nuking things. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, if you go into your library, uh, you'll see there's two folders here, launch agents and launch daemons or demons. And uh, subtle differences between them, there, there is a difference but I'm not going to explain it. Um, but basically, there are little files in here that uh, tell your computer what programs or what processes to launch when you first turn on your computer. And so um, there's a good chance that your malware is being launched because uh, there's, a, there's a little file in here. Um, and I guess I should say, if you're starting up your computer and a file or your, your malware is just launching automatically and you can't get it to stop, you may want to try starting your computer up in safe mode or doing a safe boot, um, which stops any software from launching automatically. Um, and you can do that by booting up and holding down the shift key. Uh, I'll put instructions to that down in the description if you want to try that. Um, that won't solve the problem, but if you can't even do anything on your Mac because this stuff is launching automatically and locking you out, a safe boot will allow you to at least uh, reboot, not have the stuff all launch at you when you first uh, log into the computer, and then you can uh, perform these steps that I'm going to show you how to do. 
So uh, in, in the launch agents and launch daemons folder, um, I'll go ahead and just open launch agents. Um, I've got some stuff in here. I know exactly what these files are. Um, this is a, a, a Adobe thing for, I think it's for Adobe Reader. Um, this is a management software that I use, and then this is a Microsoft Update Agent. I want all these things to launch, um, and you probably have a number of things in there as well. Uh, every Mac is probably going to have some, some software that has put some launch agents inside of, of this folder, and you don't really want to delete those. Um, however, what these little files do is they are launch agents they they inside of this file is some code and that code is launching another piece of software on the computer and that's the way the malware works there's a launch agent that calls up the actual malware to start running these files this isn't the actual program that's being launched this is just the agent to call it up and what that means is if you can delete the launch agent the thing that's calling the malware to run, then the malware can't run on its own. You've effectively stopped it. Um, so what I would suggest is if you, if you think you've got malware, you've got adware on your computer, first open up your launch agents folder, look at the list of stuff that's in there, and if anything looks strange to you, if you see something in there about MacKeeper or uh, Genio or uh, there's some known offenders out there, a list of malware out there that um, if you can determine the name and, and look at it and see, hey, I don't recognize that thing, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Uh, do that. And you can just uh, delete one of these things, you know, if you drag it down to the trash. Now, it is going to ask you for your admin password because this is the root library. It's affecting all users, and so it's going to ask you to put in your admin password to delete it. Um, but you'll want to delete anything that, uh, uh, um, that looks like it, it could be uh, offending and causing an issue. Same thing with the, the launch demons folder. Uh, you want to check that and see if there's anything in there that, uh, that shouldn't be launching. Now, there is a very old folder it's not used anymore. In previous versions of Mac OS, um, this folder was used to, to launch programs automatically. So there's a good chance there's nothing in, the, in this folder for you. But you probably want to check, just to make sure, check the startup items folder and make sure there's nothing in there. Um, honestly, if you see anything in this folder, no matter what it is, even if you know what it is, you should probably delete it because this folder is uh, deprecated or it's, it's, it's no longer the approved way to start up um, applications. Okay, so, um, so those are going to be the main places. However, we're in our root library. We're in Macintosh HD library. So, and, and there's a launch agents folder. Your home folder also has a library in it. And that's a little more complicated as far as how libraries work on the Mac, but you want to check and make sure that there's no launch agents inside of your own home folder. So uh, the way you would do this, you can go to home here and uh, you'll see there is no library here. Um, it might show up on yours depending on how your settings are, but it's by default it's a hidden folder uh, because uh, you probably shouldn't be in there messing with stuff and so Apple hides it from you by default. But if you want to get into it, you go ahead and click on the Go menu, hold down the Option key, and now it shows up. And this will take you into, you'll see here, the path. Uh, it's in your Users folder, your Home folder, and then the Library folder. And uh, if we scroll down here, well, of course it's not here because I don't actually have any installed. You, you want to check here and see if you have a Launch Agents folder here. It's very possible you do. It's probable that you do. Um, and it, it works exactly the same way as the root library does. You are going to want to look in that folder, see if there's any agents in there that you don't recognize, um, and just throw them in the trash. Uh, and that will effectively cut off any of the malware um, from running. Uh, so, so that's the main thing. Um, now, you do have the ability, it's 
go back over here. You do have the ability to actually find out more, find uh, how to find out more information about this malware by looking at the launch agent. So let's say this Microsoft Update agent. So so let's say we want to find out what this is actually calling up. Well, if we hit our spacebar and do a quick look, we can read this information and kind of see. Um, what it's doing. And you don't necessarily have to read code or know how to read code to know how to see here program arguments and we've got a path library application support Microsoft this is a bunch of stuff here okay well that, that gives us a clue to where this this uh, this program actually resides so if we go back here we follow that path library Application support, Microsoft. Oh, there it is. There's there's the MAU 2.0. You see that there? Microsoft Auto Update app. Oh, there it is. So you can look at the launch agent before you trash it. You can do a, you know, just click spacebar on it. See what it is that it's actually trying to launch, where it's at. And what you can do is just go to that path and throw it in the trash and make sure that you are deleting not only the agent that calls it up but the actual malware itself so this will uh, give you clues it's kinda like um, you know you're hunting you're, you're fact-finding and trying to figure out where exactly this malware is um, and and trying to delete it um, so uh, that'll work for you now if you're not booted into safe boot Throwing away these launch agents doesn't actually stop the malware from running. So I would suggest you boot into a safe boot to make sure that the, the, the malware isn't running. Then you can delete whatever you need to delete and then restart and that'll make sure that it's gone. If you can't boot, if you can't do a safe boot or for whatever reason you don't want to, there is a way to unload these launch agents. Uh, this is a little more advanced, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So, uh, if we open up our terminal application, there's a command that we can use to unload anything that's been called by these. So, let's say there was, uh, let, 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 let's assume that this Microsoft update, let's say that is malware, and it's called up some kind of malware to run. Well, we can turn it off. We can open up terminal and we can type this in. Launch CTL, it's launch control, the space, unload space, and then just drag in uh, the whatever launch agent it is that you want to unload. When you drag it in, it's going to populate the whole path to that agent. And once that's done, you just hit return and boom, it has unloaded whatever this was running. Now, of course, you didn't see anything happen on the screen, but if you were to do this with actual malware that was showing, let's say it had a pop-up up on the screen or it was running something else, if you were to unload that agent, whatever it was running would disappear. It would all shut down. So this is one way that you could, you know, rather than rebooting uh, into safe boot and, and, and going through all that, you could just manually unload by using the, the launch control unload feature um, command and and that will will shut down whatever it is that's launching and then you can go ahead and um, uh, delete whatever it is you need to delete but I have to stress you need to make sure that you unload the agent or you reboot into safe boot or safe mode before you start trying to delete things and the reason why is if you don't cut it off at the source of what's launching it there's a good chance that it can rebuild itself um, because, because it can always call up another process to reinstall itself or something like that. So make sure you start here uh, with the launch agents or launch demons. Now there, that, that's pretty much it for the most part. However, um, there is some uh, malware uh, or adware that infects your browser and I can't really get too far into this because it's so particular, so many different versions of it. But depending on whether you're in Firefox or Chrome or Safari, um, 
this malware may install as a browser extension and you've got to remove that extension from whatever browsers it's been installed in. Um, some malware changes your uh, default search engine, um, changes your home page, changes various settings on your Mac, and you can go in and you can remove all that malware and it'll be gone, but it's not going to revert the settings back that the malware changed. So, you know, you can get all the malware off your computer, but it may have still changed your default search engine to, you know, some crazy search engine. So what you have to do is, even though you, you may have deleted that malware, you have to go back in here and set your settings. And you would have to do this in Chrome and Firefox, uh, you know, if you're using a different browser. But you would have to go in here and make sure, you know, you set your home page. Uh, you know, if it changed your search engine, you need to go back and change it to Google. Unfortunately, there's no automated way to, to do this um, unless you want to completely reset Safari, you know, wipe all your bookmarks, wipe all that stuff, and most people don't. So it's easy enough to go back into your general settings, set these how you want them, go into search, change it, and you should be good to go. Um, and you can see over here, there, here's where the extensions would get installed. So you could check over here, you know, if let's say you go through all the, the issues with the launch agents, you get all that done, and there's still issues occurring in your web browser. You'd want to check in the in the browser extensions. There is one final place that um, is actually being utilized by a lot of malware um, that even malware bytes or Avast or those sorts of, of uh, um, uh, virus protection software. I haven't seen them actually be able to target and find this, um, which is in your system preferences and profiles. And I won't get too much into this, but uh, configuration profiles or, or profiles as listed here are um, I would call it a payload of settings um, more like management settings um, and those management settings will control uh, kind of overarching settings on your whole computer so you could create <clears throat> a configuration profile that um, sets the home page of Safari and you could go in here all you want and go into preferences and go here and and name this to or try and name this to what you want or it might be grayed out you can't change it um, because it's being controlled by a managed setting and if you're seeing that if you're seeing um, some of these things are grayed out and they're set to weird settings and you can't change them there's a good chance that there's a configuration profile installed that's kind of setting those settings from above, from a management level. And I've seen some malware do this, install a configuration profile. And so all you would need to do is go into your profiles. And, and most, if you're using a home computer or something like that, you shouldn't have any profiles installed. So you shouldn't even see this thing. But if you, if you see this on here, you go in there and see there's profiles in there and you don't know what they are, you've never seen them before, um, you probably want to delete those. Now, a word of caution, if, if you're using a, a device that's from an institution or a place of business or whatnot, they may have management settings in here that are supposed to be there and you shouldn't go in and delete those because um, you may lose functionality for things like VPN or services that uh, your place of of business or institution provides. But if you see one in here that's, let's say, it shares the same name as malware that you have had installed, you need to get that off your computer, otherwise you're not going to be able to fix the issue. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or whatnot, feel free to, to um, enter them in the comments. And as always, uh, feel free to uh, like and subscribe. Um, appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, keep a lookout for some new videos that I'll be bringing. Thanks for watching.